Hey everyone, welcome back to Go Kick Me, your favorite crowdfunding news and reviews channel here on YouTube. So today we're going to talk about a Kickstarter called the Sky Valet Innovative Smart Luggage with Shark Wheels. Most advanced airline approved luggage you'll ever own featuring shark wheels, wireless charging, and magnetic front pocket. So I'm going to try to cut to the chase here. I actually tried to film this video and I stopped and I wanted to restart um, because you can go through the video you can talk about all the features that they go over. Actually, note to uh, whoever made this video, don't put the subtitles right underneath the bar on Indi on uh, Kickstarter because you can't, well, at least I can't talk about it and skip ahead at the same time. So uh, let's just sort of play a few clips of their video really fast. So their main feature that they, that they showcase first in the video at least well, right is... It has it's this little this wireless charger that pops out wireless charger thing. Wirelessly. I was just using it. Um, yeah. What do I think about this? I think the location is very unfortunate. Um, I like wireless charging. I've gotten kind of used to it. I have it right here on my 10s Max. Um, but I don't like this thing popping out. I don't. Uh, so the reason why they have this kind of gripper thing on here is because you're probably going to want to move your suitcase while you've got the phone in there because it takes a while to charge. So if you could be wheeling through uh, the terminal, um, moving around with your phone charging, that's good. But the problem is that this thing's freaking hanging out the back of your suitcase. It's going to get knocked. Um, you're going to be paranoid about kicking it or ripping your phone off, dropping it on the ground, um, etc. So just kind of not a great implementation. Should have been built it into the top somehow. Um, next up, you can't read it, but it has these shark wheels. Shark wheels are a real thing. So basically they're like undulating tread kind of things. They're kind of more of an optical illusion than, than anything else. It allows the bag to cross over any kind of rough surface you can think of. Uh, tactile pavement, dirt, floor casings, you name it. That so um, I did look up what this actually looks very similar, right? Very familiar. So uh, basically shark wheels are, I'm going to show a better clip. Um, they're like, wheels that have undulating treads. So it's actually round, but from an angle it looks like it's non-round because of this shape. But basically, imagine if you just had a wheel and you put in kind of a, a wave type tread and then you also made the edge walls wave shaped. So let's show some This shark wheel clips. certainly does look interesting, which is why I'd like to see it in action. This is from some Discovery Channel show about nature it's happening um it's ridiculous looking but it actually <laughs> works better so how exactly does it work so in the simplest terms when you so yeah it looks like it's not round but it actually you're is you're walking you're going left right left right and it's a simple balance the wheel's doing the exact same thing the tread is alternating left so when you then see right, it then left then right and it's perfect right on it is just a circular wheel um, but it happens to have this kind of non-flat sidewall, basically. Balance. That perfect balance is... So uh, this is actually pretty cool. So it looks... Here you can see it's sort of straight on. It's basically circular. looks like a normal wheel. Here you can see from an angle, it looks like it's some kind of weird square, especially with the frame rate. You get that wagon wheel effect. What makes it go forward really smoothly. Which I'm sure is not an accident today. This smooth back and forth way. pattern is what scientists and mathematicians call, call a sine wave. A sine wave. wave. Yes, it is. Um, so anyway, so they show it later on like you can run over all kinds of junk on your longboard. Balanced design. The shark wheel hits bumps at an angle, which lessens the shock and makes it easier to navigate rough surfaces. And according to David, skateboards aren't the only place where his new design can so outperform. So they show it somewhere where they're like running over bushes and stuff. Let's go head to the office. But anyhow, you don't need to know more about shark wheels. They're a real thing. Kind of a gimmick, but I guess it we rolls better. Um, so anyway, that's that's kind of the thing. They've got different sizes. They got the little magnetic uh, pocket. Oh yeah, I skipped over that. They got the magnetic pocket. They've got the USB charger built in. They have USB ports on the top, which I think is kind of ugly. Let's see. Fishy wheels. Shark wheels. Jerk. 
It also has this magnetic front pocket that pops magnetic pops front pocket and it has can charge any other device that you might have. And what else? And USB plug, it has a Okay, here's another feature. Magnetic pocket and the main thing is locked by this Bluetooth zipper lock, which is TSA approved. So what the hell is a US what is a uh, Bluetooth zipper lock? It's basically a, a lock like you'd have on your regular suitcase, but instead of using a combination, you have to use your phone to use Bluetooth to open it. I don't know what the real value of that is. Um, and of course, because it's TSA approved, it has to be able to be used by the TSA lock, which of course are apparently not that hard to steal or to get a, to get one made or to, to buy one online. Um, and of course, if you are using your Bluetooth lock and you lose your, let's say your power charger thing, turns off, there's no battery on here. Um, how do you actually open it? Or what happens if your phone dies? Well, you have a backup key. So in other words, you should probably bring your key with you anyway. So what's the real use in having this Bluetooth junk? Not really valuable to me. Uh, removable power bank, which is good because a lot of people require that. Um, you know, uh, airlines and stuff must be removable. Uh, especially if it's a big one, this is a 10,000 milliamp hour. So anyway, uh, the the other thing is... It says it's right in front of me. Oh. Wow, that's awesome. It has GPS tracking. This thing can be... Okay, so... Located worldwide. So now we get to one of the other problems I have with this. The guy specifically mentions that the bag comes or has GPS tracking. In fact, the bags that you buy don't have GPS tracking. It has an optional extra for GPS tracking. Um, and then of course when he says it works worldwide, I always wonder with that, like, because I've reviewed this types of stuff before. Um, yeah, you definitely need a cellular connection. You need something that can roam worldwide out of the box. Um, otherwise it's kind of useless if you're, if it only works in certain places. Um, and so way, 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 way down in the fine print sort of they mentioned that the GPS part is, is an optional extra for an extra $150. Uh, and that only works for the first year, and then you have to pay $5 a month. So you're paying $60 a year every year after that. Wow, that gets kind of pricey just to know where your suitcase is. If you're carrying on your suitcase, I guess, well, if you're worried about your suitcase getting stolen, I guess it's totally worth it. But, um, you know, for me, I don't ever let my bag leave my sight, and I'm carrying it on, so totally not worth that. Which I guess is good that it's an extra then, because I definitely want to pay for it. So anyway, let's talk about... A few more details here. Um, there's one big, big thing that I want to go to that they don't mention in the video at all. That's actually a case of burying the lead. Um, but just because we're here, let's look at these prices. Pretty pricey. Um, yeah. For a small case like this, you know, a not smart one would cost you, I don't know, thirty, forty dollars. Um, you know, okay, this thing comes with a five-year limited warranty, but it also costs almost ten times as much as you should probably be paying. Okay, maybe. Say you get a decent one for 50 bucks. That's still five times more. And this is the early bird price, which is almost done. So you have like 48 hours from when I'm filming this. So by the time you guys see this, it probably be sold out and or over. So yeah, you're actually paying like $300, right? Retail value, $500. Wow, I'm definitely not paying $500 for that. You know, I can buy a power bank. I could drill a couple holes if I wanna put some cable holes in there too. What the heck? So uh, anyway, it's expensive. Um, yeah, 10,000 milliamp hour removable battery, battery pack. Um, so it does have a five-year limited warranty. I don't know what exactly that covers. It better cover the freaking shark wheels. Um, these guys who are making it, actually a real luggage company, they make like Harley Davidson branded luggage and a bunch of other stuff. So they're really just doing this for the pre-sales. Um, they don't need your money to develop it. Obviously, it's already developed. Um, they make freaking Samsonite licensed golf products. So, I mean, that's good. They know what they're doing. They've got the sourcing stuff done. But do they really need the crowdfund? I guess it's better to, than starting, you know, putting your own money on the line when they can take your money and risk that instead. But I think that means that the likelihood that it's actually going to get delivered is pretty high. And their delivery date is April, which means they basically have already started making them pretty much. Um, so yeah, the the one thing to note is that the smaller ones have the pocket, 
the bigger ones don't. Um, but the bigger ones actually have a super awesome um, feature, which they don't actually talk about here too much. So wireless charging, again, bad design. Uh, let's see. Sky Valet features, blah, blah, blah. Double shark wheel, durable shark wheels, okay. Um, yeah, I guess it works better, as we saw. Uh, dual USB ports. They have this little flap here. I was trying to show it in the video. I skipped it. Um, I think that's going to get ripped off pretty quickly. Um, but anyway, I guess it doesn't impact anything once it's gone. Um, the pocket, okay, whatever. The charger thing, it's good that you can take it out because you might not even be able to... That's a pretty big power bank. You might not be able to even... Uh, not even check it in, but even carry on something that big. Depends on the airline, I think. Uh, and here we are. Dual USB ports... And they demonstrate pretty much everything. That's good. The magnetic pocket is not... Well, I guess it's magnetic, but it's also latches. So it can lock. So it's got a latch on it. So where's the magnets come in? Um, I don't know exactly revolutionary. I've seen that in lots of other bags lately. Um, and, of course, the app. The Bluetooth lock app. Okay. Uh, on the smaller size, this controls the main compartment and the magnetic front pocket so you actually can lock that pocket uh, and it does mention here as I said they've got all the details in the fine print here a key is also provided for backup to open your case so you better freaking bring it with you on your trip otherwise you're screwed um, and here's the bury the lead part bury the lead as in you took the best part and you didn't even mention it or the most interesting part the bigger versions have a built-in scale Holy crap, that's actually the most useful thing. This is not the first bag to do this, but to me, you put this in there, you put the charger thing, I guess, you put the you put you replace the you the Bluetooth app with a fingerprint sensor right there, plus the scale, plus you put the cheap pad right on top here, with or without the clamp, just put it somewhere useful. Um and suddenly this thing becomes a lot more, and you make it cost like a hundred bucks, and now <laughs> I'd buy it. I mean, even at 150 or 200, at that point, those added features would probably be worth it. Right now, I don't know. You can buy a, you can buy like multiple charging uh, power banks with the money you'd save if you just got a normal suitcase or a slightly less smart one. Um, the shark wheels are cool, I guess, but you know, not really that big a deal. So anyway, here are the different sizes. Again, I would want this on all four of them. And I would put that as the number one feature. This is... Oh, this this thing doesn't even have the charger. What the fuck? They're charging you 300 bucks plus 280 for the starting at price. And it doesn't even have the wireless charger. It doesn't have the magnetic pocket. It doesn't even have the USB ports. Does it not come with the... It doesn't come with the bank, power bank then? These are just freaking regular suitcases then. Except for the scale. Wow. Wow. See, I learn as I go on these things. Um, optional 3G worldwide tracker. So um, it's got burst-proof double-sided zippers. Okay. It's got regular suitcase stuff. Polycarbonate. Okay, that's great. I've got a polycarbonate suitcase. Didn't cost me 250 bucks. Um, and uh, oops, I guess they left. They left out that part. <laughs> oops. 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 Um, and now they finally talk about the GPS tracker down here towards the bottom, which is a... Uh, um, this is the part where they talk about Trackimo, which is a, I guess a third-party industry leader for luggage tracking. 3G GPS GSM technology, worldwide tracking, free for one year. After you buy the $150 add-on, $5 a month after that. So, yeah, if you use your suitcase for multiple years, five, six years, you're paying a lot. Of, you basically bought two more suitcases or like 10 regular price suitcases for that amount of money. Um, but then again, if your bags get stolen, it totally sucks. Uh, that also has this, I think, actually much better and, again, sort of not showcased, is apparently... Uh, Within the Sky Valet app, you can set your preferred notification of anywhere between 15 to 50 feet. 
So, okay, I guess if you have the stupid Bluetooth app, might as well get some use out of it. It actually has a proximity sensor thing. So in that case, like let's say I uh, put my suitcase off and then I suddenly go up to get a drink of water. Um, if someone started running away with my bag, assuming I was still within 50 feet, um, I would get a notification and I could turn around and quickly see them and run after them. Um, but again, I'm sure the Bluetooth thing will die. It'll time out pretty fast, right? Otherwise, it'll wear the battery down on your phone and whatnot. So I wouldn't necessarily trust that thing. So yeah, they're live now and they're going to deliver it to you in three months, four months. Um, here's the factory guy. That's this guy, Alan, who was there. Maestro of of factory par excellence uh, guy. And yeah, they've got the wheel guy. Zach is the wheel guy. Zach is the CEO of the wheel company, also in that video. Um, so yeah, they're definitely affiliated with the uh, Shark Wheels guy thing, right? Um, where is he? Zach. So yeah. Anyway, what do I think? Um, too expensive. Some of the features not were very well done. Go back to work on this guy. Um, this guy mentions like, oh, by the way, the TSA keys are easy to buy online. Um, and uh, they are answering a lot of the um, questions. That's a good thing. Um, people want them to switch from zippers to like a latch option, which, of course, I don't think I agree with. Um, but that's just my preference. Uh, so updates. I'm very suspicious of this. I think the marketing company that they're working with basically just prepaid ten thousand dollars in order to get it uh to get them to be able to say this story and then they refund themselves later on uh that's the uh, word on the street is how that works um anyhow um they were at c e s okay that's great and they're pushing some other junk ooh what is that grow fertilizer with me ew okay so <laughs> I should do a video about this one. <laughs> Okay, so that's it for the uh, Sky Valet. Um, I'm looking to Sky Valet 2 to improve the implementation, perhaps. Um, and bring the price down. You guys have enough money, right? Okay, so that's it for today. See you guys next time here on Go Kick Me. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter at GoKickMedia.com and Go Kick Me. And uh, yeah, see you next time.